Lots of Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and tonight we'll be taking a look at the last two figures that Marvel Legends has given us for the 1990s X-Factor team. Well, sort of, and I'll explain that a little at the end of the video. But jumping into this awesome two-pack, this two-pack was released at the end of 2019 by Fans Channel Exclusives, and you could only get it on online retailers, and it was beautiful. As you can see, it is in a bright blue box, and you have some nice pink highlights down here, and if this box looks familiar to you, that's because in the same time this was also released with a three pack of figures called Love Triangle that had the Wolverine, a newly designed Jean Grey, and Cyclops with his leather jacket. And if it's good for Cyclops, it's good for his brother Havoc. So this set features Havoc and Polaris, and it's gonna be cool to take a look at this figure. So Take a look at the box. Like I mentioned before, it's in a nice bright blue box. You have Marvel Legends series here, Marvel's Havoc, 80 years plus, warnings, X-Men, Marvel's Polaris, 4 plus, and Hasbro. And on this side of the box, you have Marvel's Polaris and Marvel's Havoc. Now these two pictures come straight out of the 1990s trading card set, and that is really, really awesome. So. On the top of the box, you have a nice yellow X with a whole bunch of little blue X's in there. So that's cool. On the bottom of the box, you have a lot of credits for the box and a barcode. Now, the barcodes are important, so I'm not going to diss the barcode. I actually got some flack from somebody saying barcodes are important. So yes, without the barcode, you're not going to be able to tell how much it is and some other very important information. And that has been my PSA for barcodes love your barcode <laughs> on this side of the box you have the same pictures of polaris and havoc and turning to the back of the box you have a lot of good stuff here you can actually see the trading cards in their entirety so up here you have a nice read up of the artwork that they that influenced this package you can see havoc's trading card and the back of his trading card and you can pause the video and read that to your heart's desire but we must be moving on to polaris's trading card and on the back of her trading card you have her stats and origins and you can again pause the video if you're so inclined and read that to your heart's content but again we must be moving on so Coming back out, you have 80 years up here, and you have a lot more warnings and credits for the box down here at the bottom. And that is it for the box. No one wants to see this awesome couple in the box. I know I don't, so let's get them out and see what they can do. And here we have Havoc and Polaris out of the box. And as usual, when we have two figures to take a look at, we'll do them one at a time. And tonight, Polaris will go first. And here we have Polaris, and she is a very interesting character. She is the daughter of Magneto. For those of you who only thought he only had one, uh, I know uh, Polaris and Scarlet Witch are both his daughters. Anyway, out of the box, she stands at just over six inches tall with her hair poofing up, and she looks great. She comes with an alternate set of hands and some magnetic blast effects, which we'll take a look at later. But first off, let's take a closer look at Polaris herself. And coming real close in on Polaris, you can see she is basically made up of this really, really large head of green hair. And that was one of her defining features in the comic. And this is no different in the toy here. You can see uh, it does have a green wash. You have a lighter green and darker greens throughout. And it just goes everywhere. This is awesome. Um, I don't remember it being so curly and permish. Um, I think it was mostly straight in the comics, but hey, we had just got a Polaris figure when this one was released, and I was just grateful that he came out in this particular costume. So, uh, zooming in real close to her face, you can see she has some really nice uh, green eyes in there and some nice eyebrows, nice sharp nose, metallic green lipstick, that really make her makes her mouth pop, so that is awesome. Uh, she's coming down to her classic uh, X Factor uh, costume, which is mostly 
uh, all blue. Let's zoom out just a bit so we can get it all into frame. Mostly all blue, except the middle part you have the gold coming down, and then you have an X right here, a red X on her shoulders. Got a little bit of shoulder pads. Blue arms coming down to some nice yellow gloves and a yellow cuff piece. This is one piece and it does move around. She does have a nice yellow belt, which is one piece, and it does move around as well. And then basically she is mostly blue all the way down to her shoes, which are again gold with the gold cuffs. So I'm not sure. Yeah, those are one piece as well. So that is pretty much it. It's a very basic costume and on the back it's all blue. So except when you come down to the shoes, of course. So anyway, that is pretty much what Polaris looks like. Moving on. And for articulation, starting at the head, her huge head of hair can go all the way around 360 degrees. And it is on a uh, hinge, so she can look down a long ways. And she can look up a long way. So that is pretty cool. Uh, you do get a little bit of side to side and wiggly waggly, so that's interesting. And if you can look, we will zoom in a little closer. And her head is actually itself on a swivel so it can actually go doo -doo 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 -doo. so he's got some weird uh, chin uh, motion there so anyway coming down to her shoulders her shoulders can go up and down they are on a hinge and they can go all the way around 360 degrees the shoulder pad doesn't get in the way that much and she does come down to a uh, forearm swivel 360 degrees and there is an elbow bend in there ah. Elbow bend somewhere. There, there it is. There we go. And that gets it uh, a little over 90 degrees. So that is cool. Obviously, her uh, hand can go around 360 degrees. It is on a hinge, so it can go up and down. And if you want to take this cuff off, you can. You just pop her hand off, and then this will come off. Because this is one piece, and it goes all the way around 360 degrees. All right. Coming to her... Uh, chest she does have a ab crunch for his, which is right here so she can go all sorts of wiggly waggly there and all the way around 360 degrees be very careful ah. and it is there because there is nothing here down at the waist this is this waist piece is one solid piece right there in the belt obviously it is articulated it can go all the way around and you can move it if you were so inclined uh, coming down to the legs legs go up a long way she's got some good kicking in her and they go back just a hair because the butt gets in the way and they can go out to the side a little bit so that's pretty neat she does have a thigh rotation which is right here it does go all the way around 360 degrees and she has a double knee bend which is really nice I always like the double knee bends. You get a lot of motion there. And coming down, um, this, again, like we said earlier, is a single piece, so it can go around. As for a boot cut, I don't think she has it because I think this is just one solid piece here. But she does have foot articulation where the foot goes up and down, and it can go all the way around on a rocker hinge. So that is pretty neat. And then we want to push this back down. So, yeah. All right, and that is all the articulation that you would ever need for Polaris. Moving on. And for accessories, we'll switch out her regular uh, power using hands that she came equipped with for the fist hands, and they look really nice. She's ready to go do some fist cuffs. Bah, bah, bah. I like that. I like that a lot. All right move her away and for her second uh, accessories she has these two uh, power effect and they're really nicely done got some bubble effect they're nice and green to denote that they belong to her and you can see the little handcuffs right here that slide onto her wrist so that's pretty neat I like the way those look she looks real good when she's powered up so yeah and that is it for her accessories moving on 
And full comparison, we have ourselves a little family reunion here. Uh, from the Amazon 3-pack Family Matters, you have Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, and Magneto. So I think these guys work real well together. They're somehow related. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, anyway, there's you some comparisons for Polaris. Moving on. And this has been taking a look at Polaris, and now we will move to Havoc. And here we have Havoc, aka Alex Summers, and the leader of the X Factor. And out of the box, he stands approximately six and a half inches, and he is decked out in some awesome 90s garb. He comes with two power effects, which we'll look at later, but first off, let's take a closer look at Havoc himself. And coming real close in on Havoc, you can see they did a real good job uh, capturing his likeness from the comic book. He has this nice, wavy, eh, light, dirty blonde hair, I guess. I think I would have preferred it to be a little more uh, blondish, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. I already mentioned in the Polaris part that uh, I'm just happy to have these figures. He has his nice uh, head cow, which goes all the way around. He has some ears poking out there. Some uh, nice blondish brown uh, eyebrows, blue eyes, if you can uh, see in there. It's getting real close, but they're nicely done. Nice um, nose, little frowny face there. Again, this cow goes all the way down and uh, is part of the main suit. You can't really see it because it's covered up with this jacket, which has a nice uh, flare. The sides of it are open and flared up. And you can see some nice blue highlights to the black jacket going around. I really, really love this uh, figure and design. I, I was so happy when they announced this. Uh, you can see the zipper. It goes all the way around. And it comes down to a point here. Nice uh, yellow X in the middle of his chest that you can kind of see. He has some uh, yellow trim around the uh, cuffs of his jacket. You can see some of his forearm that he rolled his jacket sleeves up. Nice black fingerless gloves coming down to his hand. And uh, more design here for his belt. Uh, the belt is actually one piece, so it can move up and down a little bit. And then comes down to some nice blue pants. These are similar, probably the same legs that Cyclops had. But uh, you have these golden bands, which were similar to the Cyclops uh, figure. I don't like them because they will get loose and they will go up and down. And I really think they should have just molded them in there. And then basically that's the only color he has on his legs. And on the back, it's the same thing. So that is pretty cool. And... That is what Havoc looks like. Moving on. And for articulation, the head can go all the way around 360 degrees. You would have to get it over this uh, collar. You can do it, uh, but even though you don't have to do that, if you do, then the ball joint will kind of kick it off because the head is kind of weird in the fact that uh, it has a very long chin and the peg can get there and it will work but because the chin has to go up so much and when you twist the head it doesn't take much to knock it off the ball point so anyway suffice it to say you don't need the head to go all the way around 360 degrees but it can if you're so inclined it's on a hinge so it can look down a lot it can look up a lot and you can get the wiggly waggly so that is pretty cool this jacket is kind of soft plastic and it can move a little bit but not too much it is kind of uh i don't know it feels like it's just yeah ah look at there it can uh open up here at the bottom so yeah and you can look inside and you can see that uh he has some abs and the x that goes all the way around so that is pretty neat I didn't know that. So we just found that out together. Let's put that back because even if you do, you can probably take this off, but the arms are molded jackety, so it would look stupid. So, uh, oh, I don't think I mentioned he has an X on his uh, side of his jacket. 
So that was pretty neat. Sorry I missed that in the uh, initial looks like. Coming down to his shoulders, shoulders does go all the way around 360 degrees. They do go up and down, so that is neat. He does have a bicep swivel, 360 degrees, and he comes up to a double uh, elbow bend, which gives you over 90 degrees there. Uh, his wrist articulation is there goes around 360 degrees and it is on a hinge so he can go up and down so that is awesome now if we go back to his chest and we open up the jacket again we can see that he does have an ab crunch and it can go down a long ways and up a, a little bit not too far back but it's there he does have a waist articulation which will take him around 360 degrees if you were so inclined so um, that is nice. Coming down to his legs. Legs can go up a long way, so he can get some good kicks in. Uh, back, not so much because the butt, he does have a thigh swivel, but you would have to move this little band to get to it. And then, as you can see, the band is already starting to get on my nerves by going up and down. But it can go around 360 degrees, like so. And then he comes down to a double knee bend. So that is a lot of good motion there. And coming back up, you can move this second little uh, ring, which is uh, still annoying. And you can get his boot cut, which is awesome. So, bah! that there and put this back Urgh. it's just argh. and then you come down to the foot and you have a foot hinge which goes up and down it's on a rocker and it can go all the way around like such so yeah that's a lot of good articulation that is pretty neat i really didn't know that this uh, jacket part could come off like that so that is cool you can see some more stuff in there and um the belt yes the belt is one piece and it can go up and down and move right and left if you're so inclined so anyway that is it for havoc's articulation moving on and for accessories basically havoc comes with the same accessories that polaris has except his are yellow and they go around his wrists which look really nice so we see that there technically though havoc's power most of the time would come out of his chest but i guess he couldn't do that with the jacket but you know this is what it would look like if he could do chest power but anyway so that is it for the only accessories that he comes with moving on and full comparison here havoc is with his brother cyclops and his sister-in-law jean gray so i like this this is a great little family review that we're doing tonight i didn't know it was going to turn out that way but hey moving on and for our last comparison you have havoc and polaris with the rest of the x factor team that we've already reviewed multiple man strong guy and quicksilver and if you want Heck, we'll even throw in Forge here for good measure, even though he really came along after the team I like. But even though he came after, he was still part of the X Factor. So, yeah, this is a really, really nice looking team. And like I said in the beginning of the review, this is all the figures that Marvel Legends have given us of the 90s X Factor. Kind of. Now, there is obviously one team member missing, and that is Wolfsbane, Rain Sinclair. And I am really hoping that we get a figure of her before all is said and done. Now, they did put out a Danny Moonstar figure, and it had interchangeable head and hands, so you can make a Wolfsbane. But no, no, I, I will not settle for that. I will not settle for that. I want an official Wolfsbane figure from X Factor. Now, there is actually a very nice custom job on eBay that I found, which is really nice. Take a look at here. Ah, oh, that is so cool. And she would fit in really nicely here, but she's like $80, and I don't really want to pay that much for her. But I might because I paid like $70 for the original Rogue, and I've paid $80 or something for Strong Guy altogether. So, eh, these things aren't very easy on the wallet, I should say. <laughs> But anyway, so guys, that is the review of Havoc and Polaris, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep playing.